I'm in Tagajou Shi, which is on the coast next to Sendai, um, which was famous in the news last year. Um, we felt a long quake. It didn't feel very strong, uh, but it went on for a long time. The students were kind of worried. Normally, they're pretty calm, but they were they looked concerned. Um, but then the tsunami alarm started going off, so we evacuated to higher ground. Uh, and how long did that take, and how many of you did you have to evacuate? Um, there was seven in my class, um, and they're aged about seven years old. Um, so we evacuated. Actually, a parent came to the classroom and drove us to the school, um, which was helpful, but it would have been about five minutes away walk. And is there any sense there yet of what impact uh, this tsunami wave has had and what damage has been caused? Do you hear anything locally? Um, not anything at the moment. Uh, I mean, a one-metre-high wave really small compared to what happened last year. Um, um, people are pretty calm. They were a bit worried to start with because Tagajo was hit last year. It was badly damaged, but um, everyone's calmed down now and everyone's pretty relaxed, actually. And I did wonder on the impact psychologically of uh, situations like this. I know that Japan is very used to having earthquakes, but what happened last year did rather change the national psyche, didn't it? It definitely did. Uh, this time last year, we were having maybe at least an earthquake a week in Miyagi of sort of reasonable size, five or six magnitude. Um, people have sort of, they've calmed down a lot more now, but people are still very worried. As I came into the evacuation centre, uh, a school student was crying. Um, she was really shaken up by it. Um, but generally, people here just get on with it. They know what to do. Even kids, young kids, know what to do. They know the procedure and they just get on with it.